Well, thank you guys for tuning into Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer, because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears the prayers, and we answer them all in His own perfect timing, because His timing is perfect, and His timing will always be perfect. Amen. Amen. And also, we share the good news of Jesus Christ, right out of this true and active living Word of God, which brings a free gift of salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone, and if you repent of your sins, and if you do all that. It offers you the best gift of all which you can ever receive, which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever in His presence when you die. Amen? Amen. Praise God for His Word. Praise God for this truth that we have, that we have eternal life of Jesus Christ forever when we die. We do. So praise God for this truth. Um, today we got a good topic we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about being kind to one another. How many of you like someone to be kind to you? I know I do. So we're going to be in Ephesians 4 verse 32 for you. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to go grab them, flip along to the passage, or turn on your Bibles and flip there as well. And as you flip in there, I will open us up in a brief word of prayer. So let's bow our heads and let's come before God today. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for your love that never fails, Lord. Would you speak to us now by your word? Transform our hearts, God. Let us become more like you. And unless I guess ourselves, God, we love you. Would you help us love you more? Amen. Ephesians 4 verse 32 says this. Be kind to one another. Tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. Amen and amen. Praise God for this. Can we read with this one more time, friends? And as we read with this the second time, let's meditate on this passage and ask God that he would speak to us about what this means to us. You guys ready? All right. Be kind, verse 32, Ephesians 4, verse 32. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ has also forgiven you. Amen and amen. Praise Jesus for this truth. What does this mean, friends, and how did this start out? What does this mean to us? It says, be kind to one another. We're called to be kind to another one, uh, one another. Let's say if another person was in the room, should I be kind to them? Yes, I should. Why? Because it says, be kind to one another. Tender hearted. Tender hearted. What does tender hearted mean? Tender hearted means like easy going, very tender, very soft and gentle. Tender hearted. Forgiving each other. We need to forgive each other as well. Just as what? Just as God in Christ has also forgiven you. If God forgave you, you are called to forgive one another. That's our job. So, what's the encouragement? What's the takeaway as we learn the plan? I encourage you to be kind to of one, one another. Even if someone is rude to you, they don't deserve to be, you to be rude back. Be kind to of one, one another. Treat them how you would like to be treated. Even if they don't treat you with respect, you show them respect. You are the servants of Christ. So we're called to be the light of the world. See, all these topics that we have talked about in the past, they all connect as down the run. Be kind to of another one. Even if you're not even if someone is not kind of you, because you are the light of the world. See, we have talked about Jesus, us being the light of the world. We have talked about that before. So, I encourage you to be kind to one another this holiday season, this Christmas season, and into the new year as well. We, have, we are called to be kind, so let's, I encourage us to, to all take this step to do it. It might not be easy. It is not easy, but we're called to do it. Amen? Amen. Well, if you never came to God before, or you would like to come back to God right now, known as a prodigal son, then here's your opportunity right now by saying the simple prayer of faith from the silence of your own heart. Please repeat this word after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you, Lord. You're the only hope I have, Lord. I repent of all my sins, and I turn to you and accept you as my Savior. Amen. Well, if you just prayed this prayer today for the first time with us, we pray this prayer known as a prodigal son, and I want to welcome you in the family of God, welcome you back in the family of God. Because scripture says when one walks in the family of God, or when one walks back in, heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've also been praying for this very moment because this is truly one of the most important decisions that you can ever make in your life is by placing your faith in Jesus Christ alone, accepting the free gift of salvation that he offers you. So I want to welcome you in the family of God, or back into the family of God. If you just made this decision today for the first time, or we commit your life to Christ today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next steps to take on this very important decision they made today. We don't want to mock you at all. We don't want to press you. 
We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this very important decision that you made today. And also, we just want to be praying for you because we truly believe in the power of prayer here and that prayer works. We are praying to God who hears our prayers and who answers them all. So we just want to be praying for you simply. Well, friends, brothers and sisters, can I bless you all today before I send you all on your way? Will you put your hands up to receive it? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And may you never forget to be kind to of one another, tender hearted, tender hearted, forgiving, just as God in Christ has forgiven you. Amen and amen. Well, friends, if you guys were encouraged by this video and you guys feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by this topic, would you please do me a favor? Click on that share button and share this hope with someone, share this good news with someone. If you guys just need prayer for your life or hope, please never hesitate to reach out to me. Would love to pray for you. Would love to just talk to you, answer any questions you have. And until next time, keep question number one and have a very blessed day. Peace. God bless you all.